going to a slightly remote place where there's no one else around, it's a bit desolate, and there's really heavy skies. Whether they're moving heavily or not, where there's a big swell, it doesn't really matter. You get a real feel for the energy of a place when you're there on your own. So a lot of the landscapes that I take, I'm really in an isolated place. But when I take images, I try to show the drama of a sea, the drama of a storm, and that can be sort of like projections of our life. The skies and water together bring emotion. Images can be powerful like that. I liked looking at photos on 500px and I just felt overwhelmed by the quality of people's work and it gave me an aspiration to see if I could take some similar pictures. It felt like I didn't want to take cliche shots. I wanted to do something a little different and not just repeat what other people have done. So finding the different sort of images was a challenge. I looked at photographing more at night time and doing long exposures trying to find little boats that wouldn't move very much, using filters a little bit. And, and I wanted to not find my own genre, but just do my own style within a style. When I go to a place, I walk around and I'm looking for unusual angles or where it's a natural angle that's easy to appreciate and it's likable, but it's a little different. You can flatten the water and move the sky. So it kind of fools the mind and it makes the image interesting because you're not seeing something normal, yet it's still a photograph, it's just a longer photograph. It's all about bringing what's outside in. I get asked to take pictures of where people grew up, places where they played on the beach, and they want to capture their childhood and put it on their wall. When I started printing, I was disappointed with a lot of the results I had. And at the time, I went to a photographic show and print to metal were displaying. And I was floored by the clarity and the presentation of the images on metal. That cliche about the images popping, that was just an understatement. They just flew out at you. And I wanted my images to look like that. So print to metal was the answer to what I wanted because the images stood out. It was a point of difference. They had such a great way of presenting the images that I couldn't turn back from it. But the metal does a lot of justice to the dynamics of the cameras today and the colours that are produced that are more real. So Marie's always very accommodating and communicates fantastically and I always ask her how did the images print and she always gives me that great feedback and they come out fantastic. Frank's a great worker, he, he makes the images really an impeccable standard. They are flawless when they come out, there's not a mark on them and just great communicating, great team, great team of people.